hey y'all and welcome to the max life so as you can see we have a huge mess we have this room in here completely cleaned out are we moving i feel like we are i feel like all we do is just keep adding and moving and getting more stuff ready for storage i guess so we're taking that whole room in now it's gonna be even more storage so you can see we have a lot of stuff to go through and sort this was kind of like our tool shed where we house like our milk and stuff our tools uh like our pressure washer blower just, you know just kind of maintenance stuff well now this room we are going to be taking in we are going to be adding some shelves in here there's going to be a door access right here door access to inside so i don't have to go out it'll just be a straight door access right here and we are going to be able to utilize the space over here that we have which is right next to our cold room anyway which can double as a huge refrigerator if i ever needed it but right now that is just where we hang whenever we are butchering here it is going to be so wonderful to be able to take some of the household things like all of my new distilling stuff when i make essential herbs whenever i have my freeze dryer going that i just kind of need going but out of the way also we're going to have an area over here where we just do butchering we are also going to have a place for all of my canning stuff so you know the stuff that i have crammed in my kitchen right now that i actually don't use every day needs somewhere else to go because i honestly don't even have enough room for my pots and pans which is a good thing but when i open up my cabinet my cabinets to get pots and pans my cast irons fall out sometimes they fall on my feet which don't feel very good but we have a space where we can take all of these things in and absorb them like some of this stuff just needs to be in the chicken barn some of it just needs to be in the shop out back so we're going to be reorganizing all of this so that we can take this area in and make it more functional for the house which we really need as a family of eight there's a lot of us which means a lot of my appliances are on the bigger scale or i would be in the kitchen all day long trying to cook in little bitty pots that would not be very functional so a lot of the cast irons and a lot of the things that I have are on the bigger scale because i have a lot of people to naturally cook for where's he at Oh, he right over there. Well, you better go get him. Okay. Come on, come here. Simba. Good boy. And somebody's jealous. Mama's jealous. Hey, buddy. He giving you sugar <laughs> have we put a dent in this stuff or what yes now it's just finishing up on the last few little things that we'll have when we kind of get a little storage unit by the house for the dairy pump but man glad it's done <laughs> so you can actually see our carport now we still have just a handful of things we got almost everything knocked out yesterday of course we had like our normal chores to do plus cleaning out the shop so we were able to knock most of that out yesterday we will keep a couple of things up by the house we have purchased like a little storage unit that will go right here for an extra set of tools just so we won't have to go all the way down to the shop for that of course the dairy cart and things like their alfalfa we still are trying to think through the best place for our animal thing this is just kind of like our maintenance and uh, medical supplies for animals so just a couple more things that we need to sort out and get into their places and we will be able to start over on the shop now the very first thing that we're going to knock out this morning colby has to run some errands in town so he's taking jennings with him and you see that lamb lamb stays in her kennel all night in the mornings we let her out 
I have been keeping her on a leash and just kind of rotating her to different T posts basically in the field. But today I am come on, Leo, moving her out to the front yard. I'll be rotating her in a couple of areas. So we've had a lot of different nettings that we have used over the years. I think she's at the perfect age now where I can start training her to some of those nettings and rotating her in the front yard. I want to keep her close to us. Colby said today when we fully wean her off of the bottle that we were going to move her with the other sheep. And that's not really what I want to do. I want to kind of keep her close to us. Used to being around us because I believe if I take her down there and leave her down there, it's a lot harder for me to have contact with her and I want to milk her once she is bred and has a baby. So I really want to kind of start a line that is um, used to us that we can milk. So that is really my plan with her. We're a long ways off from there. So I really feel like if I take her down there and just put her with the other sheep, it is impossible for me to get down there every day. So in order for me to be able to stay around her, her use to us is leaving her up here with us. I can put her on a leash, walk her into her temporary fencing every day, and maybe even eventually leave her in that fencing if I feel comfortable with her staying in. I just don't want anything to come into that fencing and get her, which is why we put her in the kennels at night. But with Juliet has been doing a really good job of kind of monitoring the farm. I do hear her from time to time kind of running all over the place and barking. So that does mean that she is doing a good job of kind of keeping things at bay. Well, as you can see, we got that chore done and messing with these nets are not very fun because the little spikes that go on the ground get tangled up all in the nets. There's really absolutely no way to prevent that. So it's very, very frustrating, but I think Lamb Lamb appreciates her freedom. She's not on a leash anymore, so we're gonna let her go and she's enjoy eating some grass. <laughs> Yesterday, we were able to get even more things planted. Y'all saw all of my seeds start in the greenhouse, which means eventually they have to go into a permanent home from their temporary home. And we were able to transplant lots of things yesterday. I was able to utilize lots of the protein buckets that we have used for the cows. I drilled holes all in the bottoms of those. We filled those with dirt that we had left over from starting to fill in these beds. And I got lots of those things transplanted yesterday. So over here are my buckets. And in them I put tomato in the middle, two marigolds on the side, a sunflower in the back, and cinnamon basil in the front. Now I chose these specifically for specific reasons. So when my tomato grows up, I hope that my sunflower is tall enough that I can tie my tomato to my sunflower. Also companion planted marigolds because marigolds roots actually put off a type of chemical that bugs are not supposed to like. I have had success in the past with decreased amount of pest on my tomatoes by using marigolds and basil. So I can say that from personal experience. Basil is the same way. It is a very aromatic type herb, which a lot of pests don't really like. So I have planted all my containers this way, a tomato in the middle, marigolds on the side, a basil up front, and a sunflower in the back. And the only reason the sunflower is in, in there, I had to get them out of my greenhouse, but I was really hoping that um, these are gonna grow up and I'm gonna be able to use these stalks to tie the tomatoes hey. up with. Can you tell them, hey? Can you say, hey, y'all? You don't wanna talk? You just wanna sit with mommy? Mama, what could I do? That's red. What could I do? That's black. 
That's green. <laughs> You're so silly. Let me tell. We are in the questioning stage where everything is a question now, but that's okay because that means she's growing and she's learning. Our high tunnel, those pots do need some water. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the fencing back and get in here and get watering done. Look, let's go, whoa, let's not use the full blast. Let's go to shower right here. There you go. But we need to water the ones at the end too, okay? I think they took over the whole thing. They did. They're, they're, they're everywhere. Ants everywhere. So what I'm going to do, I've had a lot of people ask me, what do you do about ants? So obviously it's in my pot. I would typically pour water on them and destroy them. But if they're in my pot, obviously I wouldn't want to pour boiling water in there. So I'm just going to disturb them every day with my fire and blast water hose. And they're eventually going to get tired of me disturbing them and they're going to leave. Now they're going to go somewhere else just as long as it's not in another pot, we'll be fine. And guys, it looks a lot different. Weird. I'm sweaty. Colby's sweaty. And you can walk in my greenhouse now. Because this is what we've been doing. It's like my own nursery. Yes, I really did have all of this stuff crammed into that little greenhouse. But thankfully it's out. And the reason why I needed to go ahead and bring it on out was because it is so hot. I've already watered once today and I already have stuff kind of wilting in there. So I was like, okay, it's time to come out. What we also did is because I'm trying to not spray anymore with the grass and the rocks that always seem to be a problem. So we come in today and we laid weed fabric all the way across, all the way down. This was a patch of grass right here that is no longer grass. And I'm going to utilize this space to bring my pots out and keep them out here. Every day is progress. A little bit at a time adds up to be a lot. We have knocked out a lot today for sure. And I know Mr. Mack is glad that it's over. Can you tell I'm sweating a little bit? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's because we've been in that high greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling it done for today. We really did get a lot done. He got a tree cut up that was over on our fence. We have done, what else have we done today? We got hay move, cows done, bees checked. It's been a long day. Yep. God bless. Happy homestead, y'all.